Anybody? Wow. What a song. If I leave this world of sorrow sometime before you do, just look for me in
<laughs> I, I got to Forgive me. I was supposed to bring a Bible up here. With me. Keith, can you hand me my phone down there? I, oh, you, oh, look at that. That's a Bible. <laughs> That's your Bible. Mr. Keith Crew guy has his Bible here with us. How cool is that? Let me read something here to you, and then we'll get into the song. And I know some of you are saying, I didn't pay to hear preaching and Bible reading. I paid to hear singing. Well, this part's free. <laughs> Does your Bible have Genesis in it? <laughs> in the beginning, he said... <laughs> That's where they put that book nowadays, right? <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. That is the Genesis account of how it all began, but there's another account in the Gospel of John that says it began with the Word. You see, Jesus is the living Word, and the Bible is the written Word. And listen, they are in complete agreement, and forevermore, ladies and gentlemen, they are inseparable. I hope you believe that. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh, the flesh was crucified, but the Word arose and will never, never die. I am the Word, I am the Word, and I'll never pass away. The beginning. I am the Word, I am the Word, I am alive and I am sure, chocolate and in sore, I am the Word. I am perfect and I am pure, I am living and I am true. Holiness, so oh, hide me in your heart, then speak the living word. I am your strength, I am your power, I am the word, I am the word, I am the word, and I'll never pass away. The beginning and the end, I am the word.
were supposed to run right into that, uh, that next song. Um, Collingsworth family is going to come help us on the a song here in a moment. Guys, if you don't mind, just I tell you what, if you don't mind, just go ahead and come on up here while we do this. Um, uh, terrible news again. You know, somebody takes a gun, starts shooting people again. And uh, you take the Bible, you take prayer, you take all that stuff out of the society, and then you wonder, and people get on the news and wonder, why, why is this happening? Because you don't have an absolute. That's why it's happening. That's exactly why it's happening. So, but be of good cheer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm no theologian, no prophet or anything, but I mean, I've read enough of this thing to realize one thing for certain, Jesus is returning. I believe that with all my heart. I, I, yeah. But even, even, even if he doesn't come as soon as we all hope and, and, and a lot of us believe he will, I, it could be very soon. The, the, great, the great news is there's a gentleman that used to sing for this event that used to sing. I love this song. It's simple, but it's great. He said, I've read the back of the book and we win. Yeah. So I want you to take this away with you. This book, um, gospel music is great. We all love it. I mean, you, the, the, nobody loves gospel music more than you guys do right here. I've heard a few people say, though, I, I get my relationship with God through gospel music, and you don't, so you don't really go to church. And we're glad you're here, but can I tell you something that you are really missing out? on some greater things. Gospel music is, is good, but it's not what God ordained for him to reveal himself to us, okay? It's this book and the, and the preaching of the word. So I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you came and you're probably, a lot of people are gonna be too tired or won't be able to go to church Sunday, but can I, we do something please? Just, just read the book. Read this book and go hear some good preaching. And then would you listen to our music after that? Because the music, gospel song is only good if it reminds you of what you have learned from the Word of God. Is that good? Two greatest words of mankind. Jesus saved. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. 
saves, Jesus saves, and He will die our burdens bearing. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, and He will.